Hey, 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 how you doing? I want to talk to you about MailChimp integration into your Elemental form. I've seen a lot of videos out there where they kind of talk to you about how you activate it or get it working with your Elemental form, but they don't fully go through all the settings. And I think that is really, really bad because there's a lot more to do than just adding in your MailChimp API. We've done it for loads of our clients and I want to just share what we do. Um, first thing you want to do is in Elemental, you want to go to your settings, go to integrations and down here where you have your MailChimp, you need to add in your API key. Now your API key, if you logged into your MailChimp account, go to your profile and then you'll get to a screen that will have API. You will then have an API key next door to every single kind of like account you've set up or whatever you've set up with MailChimp. So you might have different groups. Get that API key, okay? Once you've validated it, you'll get a green tick, okay? And if you get a cross, just go back and check your MailChimp, uh, the website it was linked to and things like that. Just check everything's okay. Now, once you've done that, that's the AP API key integrated, okay? Now, over here, I've got a fake form I've put in. We're just going to very quickly modify this to just have the email and we'll just have a button. Um, in fact, I'm going to change this email to be 70% uh, roughly. And I'm going to go down to the button and we'll make the button be about 30%. So they just sit side by side. And rather than it saying uh, the word send, we're going to change it to say subscribe or I don't know, join or whatever you want to call it. And obviously, you're going to stylize your button as well. I am going to do one thing, though, and just get rid of the label in the typography because I hate it. Sometimes, you know, if you've already got a placeholder with email, you don't need it. Right. Back to what we're doing. Mailchimp integration. Let's go over to our form. Now, when you go to the content for the form and you scroll down, you're going to get to actions after submit. OK, just to let you know, you don't need to add in anything here like a field. There is no field here for MailChimp. OK, what you need to do is actions after submit. So at the moment, this is going to collect submissions. It's going to do an email. I'm going to get rid of all of these for now. And I'm just going to type in MailChimp, not type. I'm even going to select it. That is now MailChimp. Now, there's loads of videos out there that stop at this point. They go, you've integrated it, you've added in MailChimp, job done. No, there is more you've got to do because if you now try to subscribe, you're going to get an error. So what you need to do is after you've done the MailChimp, which is what we did, sorry, actions after submit, you then go to MailChimp. This now appears because you've said it as an action after submit. If I did not have action after submit, that MailChimp option would not be there, okay? So just again to remind you, you pick MailChimp. You go to MailChimp. You do not need to put in your API key. Don't make the mistake of hitting custom and then pasting in your API key again. You don't need to do that because you've already done it over here, okay? No need to do it twice. It's already integrated. This is now where you pick your audience. So in your MailChimp account, when you're setting it up, you'd have created an audience. So you might have had a Muppet audience or a Sesame Street audience or a Star Wars audience, whatever you're going to have. OK, you, you make sure you've got an API key for it, not an API key. You've set up your audience basically in MailChimp. You then go to audience and you then pick the audience. So for this client, we've got an API key and we have one audience, which is the wild coach. So that's what I've picked there. If you want to start assigning groups, so within your um, whatever you've done in MailChimp, you might have the wild coach and then you've got a subgroup because maybe um, you're doing a particular type of newsletter or a particular type of uh, campaign for whatever trainers or training or coaching or whatever. You can do that there. But we're not worried about that. We're just default API key and the audience is the wild coach. This is the bit a lot of people miss out. I'm going to do double opt in. Why? Because now when I subscribe, I'll get an email within seconds saying, are you sure you want to subscribe? And I think this is good from a just a PR kind of point of view. So I might have clicked that. But you're now coming back to me and saying, are you sure you want to do this? So there's a chance for me to drop out, because what if I subscribe? And you spend a lot of time sending newsletters to me, but I never was really going to be bothered reading it. So it's a bit of an incentive and an insurance for yourself, really. Now, this is really, really key. If you leave this blank, your subs subscribe form will not work. We've only got one field, email. So I'm going to go down to the field mapping and I'm going to say email is the email field. 
If I had a name field in my form, which I have not, but if I did, I would have gone down here to first name and I would have picked name. There's nothing there because I haven't got it. I've just got email. So that's all I need to do. Email. That's it. I don't need to do anything else with this. I mean, I'm going to go down to, I mean, I will come to additional options. Sorry. So we're under the MailChimp's. OK, just make sure you've uh, you've mapped your field accordingly. So if you've put in a birthday field, you know, because you're going to start to send reminders to people when it's their birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Here's a coupon or here's a special message from me. Make sure you've mapped it to the correct field. Now, the last thing I will say, though, is when you go to additional options and you go to custom messages, it's going to say this form was sent successfully, which isn't great for subscribes. Why so I might put something like, like thanks for subscribing or joining, you know, smiley face, exclamation mark, whatever you want to put. And then I'm going to hit publish and obviously stylize it with your colors, your branding and everything else you want. But that now is a fully functional subscribe form. That's going to, when you subscribe, it's going to go over to MailChimp, okay? And that's a really quick, easy way to do it. And I hope that's helped you out. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I'll see you soon.